The bold and the beautiful spoilers for the next two weeks will have many secrets revealed that will ruin some lives. A lot has happened in Los Angeles, but the Forrester family will be at the center of the trouble to come. When the next week is over, everything will be clear. After Rich kicked Sheila out, she was furious. In her rage, she swore to be part of Finn's life by all means. The frustrations that she is suffering are a great source of motivation for her determination. And Sheila's also sure that she already knows baby Hayes and will want to see her grandson as soon as possible. Sheila has major ambitions than we think. But she knows Finn will never give up on his biological mother because he has been waiting to see her for years. So Sheila wants to be there and explain everything to him about why. Why do they have to be separated from each other? Then Finn will understand Sheila's suffering and let it all go. She tells Finn that she hopes he can consider her a mother and wants to be part of his family's life. But Steffi has made it clear to her husband that she doesn't want Sheila in their lives and will certainly object to Sheila's meeting or being anywhere around her son. The people in Forster had told Finn that his mother had done, and he still wanted to know more. And Finn knows how his wife feels about Sheila. Apparently, Steffi doesn't like Finn's mother because of what she did to the Forrester family. Those crimes will never be forgiven and would be unacceptable if Sheila were her mother-in-law. However, Finn wishes to get to know and talk to her despite Steffi's objections. So Finn lied to Steffi about how he was still in contact with his mother for fear of causing more problems. And this will also tell us that Finn's mind is very confused. He can do what he wants and can't say things that other people don't want to hear. When Finn confides in Paris, what will she say? The bold and the beautiful spoiler suggests that the two will talk a lot about the problems Finn is having. And he seems to be in dire need of advice right now, or at least sympathy and understanding. It seems that weak times like these are the right times when Finn can easily fall into close relationships beyond friendships. Does this mean a romance for Finn is about to begin? However, the love affair with Carter took up most of the show's time. Quinn's heated love affair with Forrester, COO, have insiders thinking about what's at risk of being lost. And finally, Quinn has also accepted to face his impending divorce. Next week, Carr suggested to Quinn that he wanted to make their relationship public, but Quinn didn't feel it was a good idea. And while Carter was ready to lose everything to be free to openly reveal her true love, it sounds like a good idea, especially when both can declare the love they have for each other. If they are no longer bound by any other relationship, it is not too big of a deal for them to come together openly. However, things will not be as easy as they think. Some sprinkles are thrown into the quarter's plans. Eric will ask Quinn to meet him, and spoilers suggest that he could ask for reconciliation instead of a divorce. This could be the end of the upcoming couple's inventions. Over the past few days, a number of events have shaken Eric's mind, but it comes as a big surprise to Quinn when he says this. However, Eric really has an urgent reason. And the problem is that he feels that Sheila is trying to do something with him. Will Quinn and Eric reconcile, or will she continue her romance with Carter?